So if you guys have been following the channel for a while, you'll see that we posted a video several weeks ago where we shot a bunch of guns suppressed, including this Glock 21 here. Well, now it's time to go ahead and get this thing cleaned. So in this video, I'm gonna show you how to clean and lubricate your Glock style pistol. And this process, even though this is on a Glock 21, will work for any Glock model that you have, no matter what the gen as well. So stay tuned. All right guys, so here we have the Glock laid out for cleaning and then I also have some plies that you'll need as well. Um, I do recommend these Tipton gun cleaning picks. They make it really easy to get in some of the hard to get areas, especially on the slide. You'll need some sort of gun cleaner. We do use Ballastol because it is a cleaner and lubricant at the same time. And we have one of these precision oilers as well to get in those hard to get areas. And then your Glock should have come with this tool right here and a brush. So you'll need those as well. And then if you have some separate brushes, I recommend those, some patches, and or you can also use paper towels or if you have some cut up t-shirts, just whatever to wipe out the gun. And then once we're done, we're gonna use this silicone cloth to wipe down the metal slide and put it away just so there's no fingerprints on there. And we'll go over that as well. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and start with the takedown of the pistol. You'll see that this is a threaded barrel. So I'm gonna take off this thread protector. Obviously, if you have the stock barrel, you can skip this step. So put that aside. And then if you have a magazine in there, just make sure you drop your mag and then check your chamber, make sure it's empty, which this one is. So you'll see on each side of the frame, there's these two levers here. We're gonna go ahead and pull the trigger and then we're gonna take the gun just like this and pull it back about an eighth of an inch. Then you're gonna take your other hand, pull down those two takedown levers and the slide will come right off the frame. So then for the slide, we're gonna go ahead and take our recoil spring out. So just push it down and it'll come back out. And then the barrel, just kind of push it forward and it'll lift right out. And then that's about as far as we're gonna to have to take it apart for cleaning. So what I like to do is I first like to take the ballastol and I'm gonna take the barrel and just spray it down really good. Spray the inside of it as well. And I'm just gonna put that aside and let that soak for a little bit. And then on the frame, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take some patch here and just spray it down with ballastol and I'm just gonna wipe down the entire side of the frame there and just coat this whole thing with that gun cleaner. Now see, this one is pretty dirty because I was shooting it suppressed, so that does cause your gun to get a little dirtier. And then if you have one of these brushes, um, whether it be the soft one or with the metal bristles there, go ahead and take it, and then you're just gonna brush the slide, make sure you get any caked on debris or carbon buildup. And then this is just good, like I said, for loosening up everything that's in there. Okay, once that is done, I'm gonna take another patch, spray it down with some more Ballastol, and then just kind of run it through the slide again. Now at this point, you're just gonna take clean patches or paper towels, whatever you're using, and then just wipe down the entire slide until the patches start coming out clean. Depending on how dirty your gun is, this may or may not take very long. Ours is pretty dirty, so it's gonna take a little bit longer. But just start taking those patches, get in all those grooves that you can. All right, so I'm gonna take the patch and the pick here and where the rails are, where your the frame rails go into the slide here, you'll see there's that cutout. I like to take this end of the pick and then put a patch there and just kind of run it through. And you'll see that it's gonna get some of that debris and stuff that is inside the slide rails. So that helps clean those out. And then you can also take it and get in the, some of these corner grooves Like this it helps get 
some of those hard to reach areas where you can't normally get it with just your fingers. And then I like to get mine pretty clean since I don't shoot them very often. So I'm gonna take one more patch, wet it down, and then just kind of repeat the steps that we just did. All right, so then once you got it about as clean as you want inside the slide, I usually take a paper towel or something and then you're gonna have excess cleaner and stuff just from your fingers. I'll go ahead and wipe that off the top of the slide here. Alright, so you'll see that is much cleaner inside the slide there. And that's about as far as we need to do um, cleaning the slide. And now moving on to the barrel. So that cleaner has been kind of breaking down that carbon buildup and everything. So I'm just going to take a paper towel and wipe down the entire outside of the barrel. And even if you have a, the stock barrel, this is going to be the same cleaning process. It just happens I have threads on there. Okay. And then we're going to take this cleaning rod tool that came with your kit as well as the brush and we're going to screw that on there. And then we're just going to take that brush and run it through the barrel. And then I'll take another paper towel, just wipe the brush off, get it clean. And just run it through there a few more times. Okay. And then kind of look inside the barrel and kind of see if it's still clean or not. I'm going to go ahead and run a little bit more cleaner through there just because I was shooting suppressed, so it is a little dirtier than normal. And then what I also tend to do is I'll take a clean patch, wrap it around this brush, and then run it through the barrel as well. Just to help get some of that leftover stuff out of the barrel. I'll go ahead and take the brush off. And then on the outside of the barrel, if you have any buildup right here, just go ahead and take a brush. Get any of that carbon buildup and gunk out from around the barrel. Take another patch, wet it down. Okay, and then just for the heck of it, I'll spray the outside down one last time. Another paper towel. And I'll go ahead and clean the outside one last time. Again, how detailed you get is up to you, but I like to get it to where when I'm running these dry patches or towels, I'm not getting a lot of black stuff that's showing up on it. 
since I don't shoot all these guns that often. Okay, and that's about as far as we need to do it for that barrel. You see, just hold it up to a light and just shine it through and you'll see just how clean your barrel is. If you still see some gunk in there, just repeat those steps, make sure it gets everything out of there. And one other thing I will do is I'll take a cleaning patch, stick it through that in there, and then I'll just run these through as well until they start coming out clean. So I remove it from the end, and then I'll just take another new one. And you see it's coming out pretty clean now, so do one more. Okay. And then if you know you're not gonna be shooting this for a while, just for storage purposes, what I'll do is I'll take a clean patch and then put just a smidgen of cleaner on there, not too much. spread it out on that patch there and run it through once. And that lightly just coats the inside of your barrel to keep it from rusting or anything, just kind of help preserve it. Um, it's gonna be sitting in your safe or wherever you store it uh, for a prolonged period of time. So set that aside. And then for your recoil spring, you really don't, there's not much cleaning that you need to do to these. These things don't get too dirty. I'll just take another paper towel, and just kind of wipe the outside of it. Again, you can see there's not a whole lot of stuff coming off of it, but feel free to spray it down with your gun cleaner or whatever, and just wipe that off. You wanna make sure that you do get most of that gun cleaner off the recoil spring before you put it back in the gun. But again, you can see not too much to do there. Now on the lower receiver here, um, depending on if you're shooting suppress or how long it's been since you've cleaned it, um, there may be some gunk in here that we'll have to clean. So I'm going to take a patch, wet it down with ballistol again, and then just kind of wipe down the frame and all the components. And get down in here. Okay, and once your patch gets Dirty, just take another one, wet it down if you have to. And I like to get a little bit inside that magazine. I do like to get inside the frame here where the magazine is, just as you'll see it does get a little bit of gunk in there. So you want to reach it from the bottom, get it up in there however you want to. And then from here, I just start taking clean patches and wiping everything down again, kind of like we did with the slide. So just wipe, wipe down all your metal parts, this area here where your barrel sits. And then again, if there's some areas that are hard to get, just take your pick, kind of get in there. All right, so just repeat this process until you get it as clean as you want to. I'm just gonna run a couple more through. All right, then once you get the inside of the frame as clean as you want to, just take another paper towel and wipe down the outside of it. Get any extra cleaner that you may have gotten on there with your hands. All right. All right, 
so now that we got everything clean, let's go over how to lubricate the gun. All right, so for the lubrication process, I do like to use this precision one right here because it has that really thin needle to help you get in some of these areas. So with your slide, you'll see kind of where your, the cutouts are, where the frame will kind of run, run in there. Just take that and put a light coating all the way down the side of that. Another one right there and slot inside of that cutout. Next, we're gonna take our barrel and then you'll take some drops of oil and then just rub it on the actual barrel itself. And then you also want to lubricate it right here, back in these areas here. I like to put some there. Just kind of rub that in. The top right there. So anywhere where there's gonna be metal to metal contact, you definitely wanna make sure you get some lubrication there. So right here is where the recoil spring is gonna sit. So I like to get some right there as well. And then again, just light coat of oil on the actual barrel itself. All right. Um, there's really no lubrication that you need with your guide rod. I have run into some instances where the Gen 3 models that have just a single spring kind of make some noise. So if that's the case, just put a little light coating in there. But for the most part, you don't have to mess with the recoil spring. For the frame, Again, kind of where it's going to run along the slide, just put a dab of oil there. You'll kind of see where there's a little bit of wear. Just put some there. And then back here, you want to put a light drop right there. So again, where any metal to metal is going to hit. So that's where your hammer spring. All right. So now that we have this thing lubricated and cleaned, we're gonna go ahead and put it back together. So we're gonna take our slide, we're gonna take your barrel, you're gonna drop it in just like that and then push it back. You're gonna take your recoil spring, and you're gonna insert it in as well. And then it's just gonna sit just like that on your barrel. And then once that's done, we're gonna take Slide one hand frame in the other, line everything up, slide it on. And then what I like to do is I like to run the slide a few times just to make sure you get that lubrication going all over. Just work the slide, pull the trigger, make sure that works. And while holding the trigger, pull the slide back and then let go and listen for that trigger release or listen for that trigger reset. There we go. And that's it. And then what I'll do is, again, you can see some fingerprints and light oil from just me handling the gun. So wipe that down. If you have a thread protector, go ahead and put that on if you want to. And then with the silicone cloth, I like to run this on the metal slide just because I'm gonna have this sitting in the safe for a while. I know I'm not gonna use it. So I like to just run this on the slide to prevent any basically surface rough rust from forming. Because um, if you have a bunch of fingerprints on there, the oil from your fingers can, after a long period of time, if you don't have it stored in the right conditions, can potentially do some surface rust. So just kind of any metal parts, just kind of wipe it down lightly with this cloth. And you'll see it's got a very, very thin coat of oil on there. And that's just gonna, again, keep it from rusting while it's stored away. And and that is it. So pretty easy. And like I said, this is gonna be the same process for any Glock model you have, whether or not you have the threaded barrel as well. So the great thing about the Glock pistols is they are super easy to maintain and clean, just as you saw in that video. But if you guys have any questions or anything, please let me know down in the comments and I'll try and answer anything you have. And then if you did find this video helpful, please consider liking and subscribing so you'll be notified when we come out with future content just like this. Thanks for watching.